The Laramie Formation is a geologic formation of late Cretaceous age. It is exposed around the edges of the Denver Basin. It was deposited on a coastal plain and in coastal swamps that flank the Western Interior Seaway. It contains coal, clay, and uranium deposits, as well as plant and animal fossils, including dinosaur remains. Lonchidian is an abundant small hybodont shark that appears during the Triassic. It probably lived in shallow waters. The most common remains of Miletophus are teeth and vertebra. A study revealed that it had an estimated maximum age of 16 years. This means that Miletophus had a shorter lifespan than that of the modern guitarfish. Bowfin are stalking, ambush predators that customarily move into the shallows at night to prey on fish, and aquatic invertebrates such as crawfish, mollusks, and aquatic insects. They prefer vegetated sloughs, lowland rivers and lakes, swamps, backwater areas, and are occasionally found in brackish water. They are well camouflaged and not easy to spot in slow water with abundant vegetation. Albanapitan favored a moist environment and confirmed the former presence of a humid. Species of the genus Atticus had flattened and smoothly contoured shells with horny sculptured plates. The shells could reach a length of about 80 centimeters. These large freshwater turtles had an omnivorous diet. Basilemmys is considered to be most similar to tortoises. Many paleontologists have described the behaviors of basilemmys to likely be comparable to that of tortoises due to living in terrestrial habitats and consuming tough plants. Moreover, the complex triturating surface of basilemmys indicates that they are similar to tortoises in being terrestrial herbivores. The large spikes of Edmontonia were probably used between males in contests of strength to defend territory or gain mates. The spikes would also have been useful for intimidating predators or rival males, passive protection, or for active self-defense. The large forward pointing shoulder spikes could have been used to run through attacking theropods.
Thessalosaurus would have browsed in the first meter or so from the ground, feeding selectively, with food held in the mouth by cheeks while chewing. It was probably slower than other hypsilophodonts because of its heavier build and leg structure. As a hadrosaurid, Edmontosaurus was a large terrestrial herbivore. Its teeth were continually replaced and packed into dental batteries that contained hundreds of teeth, only a relative handful of which were in use at any time. Its distribution fossils suggests that it preferred coasts and coastal plains. Because it is known from several bone beds, Edmontosaurus is thought to have lived in groups and may have been migratory as well. The frill of Taurosaurus is extremely long in comparison to the remainder of the skull. The rear, parietal, edge of the frill bears 10 or more epiparietal, triangular osteoderms. A midline epiparietal is absent, likewise, no osteoderm straddles the parietal squamosal boundary. It is still heavily debated whether Taurosaurus truly is an adult triceratops or a separate genus. Though most researchers favor the latter interpretation currently, Although Triceratops are commonly portrayed as herding animals, there is currently little evidence that they lived in herds. They were herbivorous, and because of their low-slung head, their primary food was probably low-growing vegetation, although they may have been able to knock down taller plants with their horns, beak, and bulk. There has been much speculation over the functions of Triceratops' head adornments. The two main theories have revolved around use in combat and in courtship display, with the latter now thought to be the most likely primary function. Tyrannosaurus has been known to science since the end of the 19th century, and to this day remains arguably the most popular dinosaur of the world over. Tyrannosaurus imperator was considered to be robust with a small femur length to circumference ratio and two of the slender teeth. One of the most controversial theories about Tyrannosaurus is if it was actually a predator at all, but instead lived the life of a scavenger. Some have said that its size, even when combined with lower weight estimates, meant that it could not run, as in both feet off the ground at the same time. A slower than expected speed does not mean that it was a scavenger, however. The diet of Ornithomimus is still debated. As theropods, ornithomimids might have been carnivorous, but their body shape would also have been suited for a partly or largely herbivorous lifestyle. Suggested food includes insects, crustaceans, fruit, leaves, branches, eggs, and the meat of lizards and small mammals. It had legs that seemed clearly suited for rapid locomotion, with the tibia about 20% longer than the femur. Dromaeosaurus differs from most of its relatives in having a short, massive skull, a deep mandible, and robust teeth. Its teeth tend to be more heavily worn down than those of its relative sauronithalists, suggesting that its jaws were used for crushing and tearing, rather than simply slicing through flesh. 
Its feeding habits were discovered to be typical of Coelurosaurian theropods, with a characteristic puncture and pull feeding method. It is known that the Gypsonictops were Eutherians and that they could be placentals, as they show very typical characteristics of these animals, although they belong to the Leptictida group, which includes some of the few non-placental Eutherians that existed. <laughs> 